What is going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video preview man today we're going to take a look at something special the Dark Knight quarter scale Batman and if you want to pre-order this figure head over to bigbadtoystore.com I'll put the link down below so this I, I love the Dark Knight and if you have been following my channel you understand that I have a newfound respect for quarter scale and this and another Iron Man uh, one Iron Man has already been in my radar the thing with quarter scale though man look at that face only a mom can love look at that <laughs> wow okay um we're not off to a good start here however so i do have i, I love dark knight so much i have the dx19 i got the armory version and i think i had the D well i don't have the dx12 anymore but i still have those two and i really want to add this into the collection because i feel like display wise and and you know i've said this multiple times i collect because this six scale figures have a practical use for me i can get them take pictures of them you can't say the same thing about a quarter scale a quarter scale mostly you get it you display it and you never touch them again at least for me i have a lot of you know i guess collectibles in the house with statues as well quarter scale statues but it's hard to post them around first they don't have any companion pieces and even if they do they take up so much space when you're trying to you know, to take a picture of them that it's not worth it i think one six is a good good scale uh even though i would say 112 but you, there's more options as far as you know space wise in one table you can fit how many 112 you know the, the diorama pieces are a lot more prominent in the 112 now if you go to 16 yes there's still pieces but now you're getting bigger here much more so with a quarter scale so understand this if you're buying this quarter scale batman and you probably can take pictures of them but just this guy again there's not a whole lot of companion pieces compared to one six where you can buy this you get a bat pod you get joker now there's bane coming up and 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 catwoman with this you do have yes there is there's a joker that came out years ago so you probably have to find that out but other than that this is more so like a centerpiece you know you have him and then you can surround him with one six scale figures or other dark knight memorabilia and all that stuff but one thing that quarter scale does have is this presence where we talked about that a lot i was like what does it mean well what it means is you don't have to come close compared to a 1.6 or 112 where you have to if it's display wise i'm doing air quotes here no one can see me anyway um display wise it's massive it has a lot of impact so when somebody walks in a the room they'll see it right away they don't need to come close and they'll see that head sculpt and they'll be like man that looks like christian bale and this batman looks legit what do you what do you call this thing so this is for non-collectors right and that's mostly the uh, reaction that i do get like if, if a non-collector walks into my you know basement and my man cave is like man that looks really cool and then until, until they find out about the price and be like man you're crazy but that's what they do have and that's what i have with my spider-man i only have two quarter scales right now and i'm i'm planning to add more and, and to be quite honest, if you're not the type of person who likes to take pictures, like myself, right? Like if you're if you are strictly just collector, just, you just want to display it, quarter scale, I feel like it's the way to go because it has more, again, it has more presence in your display. It's not, a, there's not a whole lot of selection. So unlike one six where you're constantly juggling, it's like, man, should I buy this? Should I buy that? You know, I can't 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 collect all the star wars can't collect all of these but with quarter scale you can they, the hot toys basically cherry picked it for you like only the relevant characters are being made in quarter scale so you can technically collect them all if you want to i mean this it's you're kind of late in the party now but still you know there's boba fett coming out i and one thing about quarter scale is that their bases are nice like this guy's base is beautiful like i'm pretty sure you can use it with a, with a six scale as well so me purchasing this has a dual purpose 
uh, you know, the base and displaying this because I know my photography would would benefit greatly with having that base. And he does have the backpack. That is that is nice. Uh, which it doesn't come in DX19. So this is basically the ultimate Dark Knight if you are a Dark Knight collector. It does have everything. With that being said, uh, it's a bit expensive compared to 1.6. You know, uh, you have that option, you have that size, you have that form factor. The cape looks beautiful. The, the one in DX19 is not bad. Uh, it has improved dramatically from... The DX12 to the armory to that what we are now, as you can see, it just drapes nicely. That base is beautiful. You got different faces of Joker, Ra's al Ghul, Bane. It's 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 really nice. I think you got some. Uh, who's the bad guy from the first movie? I wish they would do. Um, I know they released it not too long ago as well. The Batman Begins, because that would be a nice companion piece for this. But that kind of like eagle. Uh, diorama is beautiful. See that Joker? See, if you have another quarter scale, you can recreate this this picture. But, man, that's going to require you a lot of table space because of how big they are. I don't know if I really want to go through that. You could because for some reason for me, the, the quarter scale pieces have a better, better proportion body-wise. It just captures it. Not just this Batman, but also in my Spider-Man and uh, Mandalorian that I do own. I don't know. They just flow nicely. Like, it, it, I can't explain it. Maybe it's just my eyes tricking me because they're bigger. But they are nice. They are nicer, in my opinion, uh, you know, than, than the one six com you know, compared to their counterpart. Although that quarter scale Mando, you know, ha it has some issues because of the, the armor is not shiny enough. It's kind of dull and all that stuff, but hey, it is still a presence in my collection. So with this guy, I am probably going to end up getting him. And then the Mark 42 Iron Man, the question is when. I'm holding off because you, as you can see, the Spider-Man, which is a really nice figure in Mandalorian, are being heavily discounted. These guys are not for everyone. They're massive. They're expensive. So if I can pick this up down the line, not right now, this Mark 42 and maybe Boba Fett uh, for, let's say, 20% off or even more 25% off or something like that, that would be ideal with free shipping. But right now, I have no plans on getting this at the moment. But if it hits a certain price point and I see it kind of like, you know, being low on stock, then I'll jump on it. But again, thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you like this video. I would love to hear your thoughts. Are you interested in picking this up? Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.